pair of Michigan tree farmers on a quest to find champion trees. The motor's still running, and it's running strong. The directions for a human being are written in code, three billion letters long. These instructions tell our bodies how to live, how to grow, how to die. Researchers call this code the sequence. Well, where is she? Enter the Clone Rangers. <laughs> That's a monster. That's a big tree. Dave Millark and his son Jared have come to Walla Walla, Washington from their home in Michigan. They represent the third and fourth generations of a family of shade tree farmers, and this is some kind of shade tree. <laughs> it's a London plane tree, better known as a sycamore, 130 feet tall and about 400 years old. It's the oldest and largest known tree of its kind in North America, a champion. Yeah, it's, a, it's an old forest giant. And by the looks of it, as healthy as it is, the motor's still running, and it's, and it's running strong. Which is exactly what the Millarks want. There are known national champions for over 860 tree species in North America, and the Millarks want to clone them all. They call it the Champion Tree Project. We're looking for new growth, specifically in this tree, from the central leader, if possible, that's close to the that's top. That's where I've got my rope set. Let's go get it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get it. I'm going to sneak. <laughs> I got a feeling there's not going to be anybody <laughs> seeing me when I'm up, up that high on that tree. The question is, what yeah. makes these trees so long-lived? Are there any special genetic traits that these very big, very old trees have that others of their kind don't? Eventually, they hope geneticists will try to find out. In the meantime, their mission is to make sure the trees, or at least their DNA, doesn't disappear. This champion tree will eventually die, but now its genome will be preserved in every clone the Millarks can grow. That should be pretty accurate. 26. You know, you're much closer. Than Even. That. Right on the butt. Right on the butt. Right on the no butt. Kidding. I say that this tree genetically has a genetic predisposition to be able to attain the size, the height, the health, and the vigor that it has. Uh, perhaps it's genetically superior, but how could we know until we study this tree? We're losing champions at a terrific rate across the country. We've lost 21 national champions in Michigan alone in the last five years. If we lose this tree's genetics, it might be a great tragedy. There are several ways to clone a tree. The way the Millarks do it is over 2,000 years old. It's called grafting. First branch down. All right. It requires buds from the newest growth from the very top branches. Yeah, the trees are still coming out, but it has tremendous potential because you see the size and the vigor on this year's new growth of the wood, all the different pairs of the buds. This is as good as it gets in the big tree world. The Millarks gather them up and take them back to nurseries working with the Champion Tree Project. These will be grafted onto small rootstock of the same species. The root system will be different genetically, but the tree that grows from the bud will be 100% Champion clone. That bud represents that tree in the total genetic content. All the genes that are in that tree are in that bud, so that when that bud grows, it is that tree. Identical. Dr. Frank Gouin cloned the 500-year-old National White Oak Champion, known as the Y Oak in Maryland. He thinks the Champion Tree Project makes sense. The tree has survived the test of time. That is very important. When you look at these old trees, 400 and 500 years old and more, they have survived pestilence. They have survived uh, environmental changes, higher levels of SO2, peroxyacetyl nitrate, these air pollutants that we are dealing with, but yet they're still there. Our purpose is simply to maintain the genetic pool, simply to grow the trees so that eventually there'll be funds available where the buds, the genetics of these trees can be studied. Right now, there's no money available for that type of research. Dave Millark says it might take another 10 years for anyone to sequence a champion tree genome, 
But the champion tree project is insurance that those genes will still be around even when those champions are gone. I don't know for sure, but in 100 or 200 years, that yes, with the way tissue culture is going and the way the trees can be reproduced easier and easier, that yes, I think that they will be a factor in the reforestation of North America. I'm confident of that. Recently, the Malarks went to Mount Vernon, Virginia to clone the last 13 trees known to have been planted by George Washington, the tulip poplar, American holly, and mulberry. 200 years old isn't old by champion standards, but Dave Malark says Washington had an eye for a good tree. He planted thousands in his time at Mount Vernon. Maybe it was penance for chopping down the cherry tree. Excuse me. The story of Washington chopping down the cherry tree is almost certainly apocryphal. It was invented by Parson Mason Locke Weems for his book called The Life of George Washington with curious anecdotes laudable to himself and exemplary to his countrymen. He made up many of his facts probably in an attempt to humanize Washington. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your attempts to set me straight. I cannot tell a lie. Mm -hmm. That's life. I'm Lucky Severson. The Secrets of the Sequence teaching materials were developed at Virginia Commonwealth University with funding from the National Academy of Sciences and the Pfizer Foundation. The original public television series, Secrets of the Sequence, was produced by Ward Television with funding from Pfizer, the Pfizer Foundation, Oracle, and the Council for Biotechnology Information. Special thanks to member institutions of the series advisory board, consisting of Virginia Commonwealth University, Harvard University, University of Wisconsin, University of Michigan, University of California at San Francisco, and the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology, Cambridge, England.